months and months and months and months and months. All right, David. And months. All right. That, I mean, life is going on. It's, I'm not upset. I have nothing. I'm not, there's nobody in my crosshairs. My focus is, here's the thing. I will go back to this. There are websites and, and, and Instagram accounts that their whole job all day is to bring down Melissa and Margaret. That's yeah. not us. This no. is, Guys, yesterday my show was about Beverly Hills. Tomorrow my show is about Vanderpump. Like, this is not, like, nobody, I'm not obsessed. Like, there are there are websites and uh, Instagrams that this is all they do. But yeah. I'm going to do my job and so are you. Now, can we just also talk about what is this new thing about Luis, this money? It's either $25,000 or $250,000. we are going to have to get to the bottom of this, that he yeah. started going into some business deal with Joe Gorga and Joe Gorga lost. No, no, no. It's not Joe Gorga. Then it's what is Joe, it? It's, it's Melissa's niece, supposedly. Um, Housewife historian had put this out. And I asked her, do oh. you I, I DM'd her. And I said, is this coming from? Because it's coming from a very good source. Melissa's niece... Um, went to Luis and said, I have this unbelievable business deal, blah, 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 business, I'm um, not deal. Like, you know, uh, uh, th thinking about this, this business she wants to put out. And Luis said, write me up what, you know, this business, a business proposal. That's a, Thank, that's oh a my God, that's the word proposal. I, it's early in the morning for me, a business proposal. And let me look at it. So she writes up this business proposal and he thinks it's great. And she goes, but I need 25000 So he says, okay. And he gives it to her. And this business never comes to fruition. That's the story that the historian put out. She's standing behind it. She's going to get more um, info. I did DM her. She said it came from a very good source. So all these other figures, the 250 I, I don't know. I, I really don't know. But that's what she said that sounds more like it than 250 Can I just say something? I don't understand human beings. I just, I really don't. Like, if you came to me with a business proposal for $25,000. <laughs> no, well, she mean, didn't say 25000 at first. Then she said it and she got it and then it didn't come to fruition. Whatever it was, 10000 1000 uh, The answer is no. I do not get involved <laughs> exactly. with, like, I don't, I, I, I don't, I don't care how much money I have. I don't. Go Me there. Too. So I don't understand people's people entangle their lives, man, for yes, no they do. reason. Look, in this life that I lead, maybe that you lead, it comes with a cost. It comes with a thousand percent. But I choose the, the lone road, my friend. Like you yeah, do me too. You and you're my friend, and we're. But I, I just that's how I live my life. I don't want money. Is just so who who I mean, Luis. No, keep your money. But that's that's a crazy story. Thank you, historian. Yeah. Um. So speaking of Louis. Yeah. Let me, let's go back. Let's talk about the um episode since we're on him. Okay. When he said to Teresa, I was just talking to Donna and I Donna Melissa's mother and I apologized to her. Teresa's face dropped. And it did. It did. It dropped. I don't care what anybody said. Teresa's face dropped. And he said, I would like to invite her to the wedding. And she goes, well, then go ahead. And he leaves and he goes to invite her. Wait. And how about Fessler, who I have to tell you, I do not like. I saw her on Andy. I don't know. Who, I, I don't like her. But I don't see anything funny about her. I don't like her. Okay. And he, they, 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 they high five each other. Who, to, who? Fessler, Fessler and, and Louis high five because he said oh, he feels that. that Donna should be invited and he's not, I'm not involved with Teresa Tilda with your 10 year problem. <gasps> wow. Just wow. That blew me away. I'm not surprised because I told you he's a wild card. I keep saying that you just never know what this dude is going to do. And the coming attractions with him saying he wears Teresa's father's pajamas to make the girls feel safe. I would feel like I'm living with the guy from Psycho. I mean, you got to be kidding me. He's wearing your, 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 your dead father's pajamas to make the girls feel safe. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Okay. I, I don't even know. I... I these are things that are so insane that I don't even know what to say about. Like, I'm just blown away. Uh, people are DMing me like crazy. This guy is, this dude's nuts. 
He's really nuts. I mean, listen, it's like, it's just like, I just did a show the other day, or I think yesterday, it's coming out, and I'm like, Raquel Levis from Vanderpump Rules, wounded bird or brilliant Machiavellian evil genius mastermind? I don't know. I literally, and I and I and I referenced you. I said, just like Kim says she can't get into Louis' head, I can't get into Raquel's head. Is she an evil genius that now is the biggest reality villain, one of them of all time? Or is she truly a wounded bird? I can't tell. It's the same thing with Louis. Like on on one hand, you're like, you are, I guess, a good influence on Teresa because Donna's being invited. And it's like, you're like, this is a good influence because she's like, okay. And the old Teresa would have flipped another table and said, that fucking bitch ain't coming to my wedding, that fucking motherfucker. Like, I don't care. So in a way, you're like, you're such a good influence. But in another way, you're like, man, this is what we accused you of, of being a dirty John who's 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 setting her up. Listen. The, the turning point for me was at the reunion when he stood up and patted Margaret and said, I, 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 I understand. I, I understand. It's like, what? That to me, this is the same thing as that. Same it's the thing. same thing. It's like, which is it good? Because now there, now there's an audience. And when Teresa said, you know, I would have liked him to have discussed this with me. I don't blame her. She looks like a crazy bitch this way. Which is Listen, it, Louie? Which is it? He's a wild card. He's a wild card. He, he, listen, I was so blown away. I've never, I've never been with a man who would do that to me. Ever. Ever. I mean, you, oh my, and I've been married a couple times, guys. I don't know if everyone knows it. You'll find out in my book. I was engaged. Um, I was with Michael for 13 years. There is no man. That would listen if we were behind closed doors and he said, you know what? What's the big deal? Let's invite whatever we could have. That. But to do that and high five Jen Fessler and then to say, OK, I will. And go walking away. Look, is Donna here? Is Donna here? I'm like. Oh. I don't want a man like that. I'm sorry. I don't care what how much money he spends on her. What the deal is. No way. I wouldn't, there's not one of those husbands. I mean, I think I'm, I'm really, I gotta say, let's go back for a second. I'm liking Danielle Cabral a lot. And she is not, um, she is not a discount snooky or whatever. Fun. Jackie, you're disgusting. You are disgusting picking on this girl. You're just jealous. Okay, you're jealous. This girl, Danielle is authentic. She's fun. She's cute. She's a good mother. She's got an adorable husband, okay, who clearly adores her. She is bougie, and she's and Jackie. You just want to pick her apart any chance you get. You're pathetic. You're pink pad. Go bye byes already. Go bye byes. Goodbye. That's number one. And I believe your husband cheated on you, okay? And I don't blame him. And then um, 